All right, here we go with another Revit tip of the day, or tip of the week, or tip of the month, or whenever I get around to doing a tip. <laughs> anyway, today's tip is about is a trick to do um, that you can add to your um, families when you're making like a door or a window family. <clears throat> it's a fairly cool trick for setting the setback from the face of a wall. So let me show you where that goes. Okay, so let me just reduce my little mug to right about here and open up Revit. And, okay, so here we go. Let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Make Revit a little bit bigger here so we can see what we're doing. Okay, what we've got is, what we want to do is make a brand new family. Okay, so let's just... Um, Let's say file, new, family, and I'll start showing you the trick. This is all the uh, templates. We're going to come down here to window. Woohoo! Window. <clears throat> okay. So, looking at this, this template, let me get over here. There we go. Now, this, um, there's the exterior side and interior side. We're looking at the top view of the template. Okay. And the width is set to three feet. And what I'm going to do is come to the exterior side and look at it. And you'll see that there's a default sill height of three feet. And the actual, I'll move that out of the way. And um, the, um, the height is set at four feet. So it is preset, there's a preset opening. But if you start building right here, let's just say you start building with a frame. I'll just start, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's say I do an extrusion right here, okay? I'll do an extrusion from that corner to that corner. And let's just put, um, hey, I'll do an, a um, two inch um, offset from that inside that, okay? So there is our frame. And we don't want it to be sticking out a whole foot. Let's just go four inches, okay? And the truth is we want it to go minus four inches and I'll show you what happens. Minus four inches from zero. Done. Yay. We've got ourselves a window frame. If you look in 3D, you're like, oh, wow, look, we got a window frame in there. But where is it really? Look what it did. It Here's the window frame. Oh, man, I went the wrong way on the frame. Oh, man. Okay, back to the exterior side. What was I thinking? Okay, edit, extrusion. Get rid of that outer ring. Let's put a um, let's put another um, offset here, two inches. It's going on the wrong side, man. It's on. I'm gonna say negative two inches. See if that'll put it in the right place. There. There we go. Inside. Okay. Done. And finish. So let's go back to the plan. So there we go. Look what it did. This is our frame that we just built right here. And it uses the center of the wall, which is not a good idea. Because back, back, let me, listen, <clears throat> let me just talk. Back in your project, the middle of the wall is irrelevant. Sometimes you're going to put your, your window on and you want it to be flush with the face of the exterior wall or two inches in or three inches in. You want to be able to set that. Middle of the wall means nothing. So we're going to fix that right now. Okay. So we don't want that stuck to the middle of the wall. What you do is this. You create yourself a reference plane, and you build on it. So I'm going to name this reference plane uh, window, okay? And we're going to build on that window. So if I pick this thing and I say edit the work plane, it's, it's using the center of the wall as the work plane, okay? If I say I'm going to edit the work plane, and so here it is. Um, the name is window, and boom, it uses this line, this reference plane, to work with. So when I when I move this plane, the window's going to move, okay? So let's click on that and tell the subcategory over here that it's going to be a frame. So the line weights get corrected back in the project, okay? And then let's put a piece of glass in there, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We can go to the exterior face of this. And when I go to create another extrusion for the glass, what I'm going to do is set my work plane 
I can set my work plane to window. Okay, so I'm working on the window plane. And if I put my, um, my um, glass right in the frame like it's supposed to, I can look over here and say, okay, it doesn't want to start at the front. Maybe it wants to start half an inch back, okay? And I'm going to say minus half an inch. So that's half an inch back or one whole inch back from the face. Hey, my, uh, minus one whole inch back from the face. But it's going to four inch back. So that's a three inch piece of glass. Don't want that. So let's just say it's going to minus 1.5. Okay. So it's a half inch piece of glass. Or you can say minus two. Done. Okay. So that tells the glass where to go. And I'll, I'm going to change the subcategory to a piece of glass. And done. Okay. So now we go to the reference plane. See where the glass is sitting? It's all in relation to this working plane. Okay and not in the wall. So what I need to do is set a parameter up so I can control this. So what I want to do is put a dimension on this first and I can go to the face of the wall and up here to it and I can um, across the top once you highlight the um, highlight your dimension to give it a label and so we highlight it and up here it we don't have any other labels that I want to put on it because it's got default sill height and rough openings and widths and heights, but it doesn't have, and I'm going to click new over here, this little tiny button is for new. I want this to be set back from the face of wall. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. And I'm going to leave it as a type parameter so when I move one of these back three inches, they all go back three inches. And I don't have to go around the building and do every single one. You don't want that. So set back from the wall. So I can say, okay. So I've got the setback from the face of the wall set at a foot. And I know it's out in the middle of nowhere, but you have to test it. So this button over here, this little button up here looks like four ice cubes. It's the family types. It actually brings up all of your parameters so you can test them. So we look on this list and it says set back from face of the wall. It's the one we just made. So if I change that to six inches and apply, do you see how that? It moved it right back there behind us. It moved that window. In fact, I'm going to move it over here so you can watch it. Okay, so if I set it to two inches, okay, it's using the face. Okay, so this is good. So what I need to do is take that and move it. I'm going to scooch it down, okay, so that it blows out the back of the wall. Okay, but it's still controlled. It's still working off of the front of the wall, the exterior side, to wherever I put it. Okay, and I can I can control it now. So if I say um, six inches, it goes well. The wall is six inches thick, but if I say eight inches, it moves to eight inches. So I can control this thing now, set back from the exterior face of the wall. You got to be careful not to let it just do what it wants. This is how you make the setback. I'm going to just set it at two inches as a default. Okay. Apply. Okay. So I've got it set as a default at two inches back. We're going to save this quick family. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it onto my desktop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it um, window with setback just so that you know this is the one that I've made. Okay. I'm going to load it into my project and close it mm -hmm. and I know I can't put it in this view so I'm going to go to my plan view and let's just grab this building make it a little bit longer of a building okay and uh, probably should get the uh, okay so he <laughs> probably should get the elevation marker out of it so here's the wall that I'm talking about and all I got to do is come down here to my families and I go down to my windows and would you look at that I've got preloaded in this project a double hung and a single but there it is window with a setback and if I that's the name of the family and I can expand window with a setback and there's the type so I can pull this out and when I set it in here okay it goes to the two inches automatically because that's how I preset it 
But I can click on that now, and remember it was a type parameter. So if I have two of these, I'm going to put another one in here, <laughs> right there. So these two windows here are both window with a setback. And so if I highlight one, I can go edit the properties of it. And sure enough, there's that setback. You can set it to four inches setback. Boom. And they both go back to four inches. So that right there, <clears throat> that right there is how you get a setback built into your window so that you can control how far back it goes for um, from the face of the, uh, the exterior. So this works perfectly fine with doors or windows or vents or anything else that you build. All right. I hope this tip has helped you and it, it, uh, it gives you some more control that you wouldn't normally have to a door and a window. All right. Until next time, happy reveting and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.